What's up guys, Haseeb here and in this video we are going to discuss how to design Go High Level surveys to make them look a little bit better. Now I have created this survey and I have integrated this survey with one of my web pages in my website. So this is what it looks like when I integrate the survey in my web page and uh, as we can see, there are a few customization features like we can change the background, font color and stuff. We also can go to options here, do some setting changes here like back button. I'm enabling it. Auto navigation. I don't want to disable it. Progress bar. I'm not keeping it. So I'm just marking it off and animation. If you want to disable it, I'm just keeping it for now. And if you want it, you can just disable it from here. Other than that, if you want to do some more styling and match your branding and color and fonts, you need to apply some easy CSS. In this video, I'm just going to discuss how to apply some easy CSS in your Go High Level survey to make them look a little bit better. Now, you don't have to have any CSS knowledge because I'm going to give you my code at the end of this video and at the end I'm going to show you what exactly you need to change in that code to match it according to your branding. Now without further ado let's begin. First thing first we want to change the fonts of the survey because this doesn't match uh, with my web page and uh, I'm using Poppins as a font for my website so I want my survey fonts to be Poppins as well. Now I will go back to my survey and I will go to styles come here in custom CSS I'm gonna write star font family poppins and if I go and save and reload I'm gonna see that the fonts have been changed now the next thing I want to design this form area I mean the form body and make it elevate a little bit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna right click and inspect let's catch this body and let's find out the id of it so i'll just copy it over here and for ids i'm gonna give it a hash at the beginning again you don't need to know anything how the css works just knowing what to change in this CSS is good enough. Now I'm going to insert two lines of code in this. I don't want to waste your time. So I've written down the codes here. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting and explaining how they work. So I'm giving it a box shadow and I'm saying it will not elevate much on X, Y axis. I'm giving it a spread of 10 pixels and I'm applying the shadow color to a little bit black but transparent so the next thing would be to give it a padding so if I save it you will be able to see the difference as you can see it's got a bit padding and the body it looks a little bit better with that box shadow now the next thing would be for us to change this footer over here so I don't like this dark footer it, it doesn't go with my branding at all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch this I'm simply gonna copy the class and come over here give it and write down this code so display contents what it will do is it will get rid of this black bar and it will bring the button up in the body itself rather than like having it outside the body so if I save it and if I go and refresh as you can see the button is inside the survey body right now so that's all right the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this play button and if you go to the next step it shows you a back play button or a reverse play button so I want to get rid of these two. So what I will do is I will try to find out the class names for these buttons. They're called right pointing triangle and there's an after in this CSS of this play button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here 
and in down here I'm gonna paste this piece of code which is right pointing triangle colon after content next so what it does is it just replaces the play button with the text next and similarly for the reverse play button let's find out the class the class name is left pointing triangle so for this it will be back instead of next so I'm saying left pointing triangle colon after content back so let's see if it changes these two buttons As you can see, the texts have replaced those two buttons. Now, I want to write some more CSS to, to match my website colors because right now it's kind of blue. I want yellow here and over the yellow background, I want the black text. So what I will do is I will try to catch the CSS class of the button. So it's GHL next button. I've already written down some CSS code for the button. I just want to show you how it works. I don't want to waste any more time in this. So I'm saying GHL next button. In this one, I'm saying text transform uppercase, which will make the letters uppercase because the submit button has a kind of uh, sentence case in it. So I'm saying text transform uppercase border none, which you can remove background I'm giving it my yellow color and in color which means the text color I'm giving it black so if I save it come uh, here refresh let's test it out and as you can see there's still a problem with the back button here you know what let's just replace all the button CSS with this piece of code so I've got button I'm saying all the buttons should be font weight 500 so as you can see this is a little bit thinner than this next text so I'm saying it's font weight 500 border none which also you can remove background yellow the color of text is black so let's hit save and test it out now it looks really really good at least way better than before and this is what I wanted to show you really so this is how we apply CSS to a survey and it already looks a lot better than before as you can see now I'm gonna show you the CSS so this is the CSS now the things you need to change are if you want to change the next and back button texts just come down here and replace next and back with uh, whatever you want for the button background color you need to change this hex code replace it with your color for the text color this will be the hex code of it and the next and submit button similar thing just change the background color the hex code of it and the color hex code here and yeah i think that's it that's all you need to know and that's it for today see you in the next one